Welcome to another episode here on A New Life in France. How quintessentially French is this background? Beautiful church that's behind me. Actually looks like a monastery. I'm not actually too sure what it is. I've just come to this lovely part of France. I'm going to be looking at beautiful property and I just saw this shot and I thought what a great way to start this program. Without further ado, let's go and have a look. Well here we are, we've just come inside this beautiful house. You'll have seen a couple of the outside shots as well. So when I did the intro I was by that beautiful church and the abbey next to it and I said I don't know what I'm going to find. But when you see a door like this and you come through you know something quite special is going to be there. So I am in this hallway, lovely and echoey. And I'm going to take you round in a moment. But the hallway here is stunning as well, it's really beautiful. You can see here as well with the original tiles beautiful high it goes down as well to a lovely back door as well which really replicates this front door it is splendid i am so excited to go and look at all these other rooms we are in this beautiful front room that just comes off the hallway two lovely windows the light is streaming in it is beautiful there's a lovely fireplace behind original floors I mean this is just lovely parquet floor at its very best just coming off this then we go into the dining room the dining room I love the dining room has got lovely stone tiles again it's the original this house has got so much history it's probably one of the older houses in this particular lovely lovely town that we're in and when you go into that dining room as well it's got history on that floor just go off it as well, you've got an above ground carve. It is so lovely and cool in there and you can just imagine in years gone by that being full of the most wonderful wines of the area. Again, just as you come through the front door, there's a smaller room as well with a lovely fireplace in there. Could now be turned into a lovely little snug area or even a home office as well. It's so light, airy, it's warm. Yes, it's July, but it's warm as well. You can see throughout the downstairs, you can see the radiators as well, so you don't have any issues with the heat. I love this sitting room, if you want to call it. Sitting room with the original coving up on the lights there as well, being beautifully finished off. It's just lovely. But I've got even more surprises as we go around the corner. Let's have a little cheeky look and let's go into that kitchen. Well, I promised you a surprise as we came around the corner into the kitchen. I call it a kitchen. I'm stood in this beautiful summer room is probably how I would call it or call it a sunroom, whatever you wanted to. With its beautiful views out onto this lovely garden. It's looking beautiful in bloom at the moment and it gives you little glimpses to other bits of this lovely house. It's light and echoey. There's not much furniture in the house. Obviously it is for sale, but this is beautiful. What I also love as well about the house is a really lovely mix of old and new, but it, anything that's been done has been finished to a really great standard. When we look in this kitchen area, you can see the kitchen behind me. Kitchen's got all of the appliances that you would expect. It's really lovely, light, airy windows. But I think the winner for me is this massive sunroom. It is huge with these lovely sliding doors that come all the way across and let all this light come in but gives you these beautiful views you get the views here to the garden you get the views to the swimming pool it's just beautiful you can imagine a big table in here you probably have a sofa in here as well it would be a family room as much as anything else i mean this is some kitchen if you turn it into that we've also then got just coming off it up to the top we actually have then got the this sort of pool room and in terms of there there's a shower and a toilet and dressing facilities and you walk straight out to that lovely pool the sun is shining now and I can see the pool it's so inviting on this really warm July day again we then got a little utility room just off here as well that's got everything and then that will take us into somewhere else but in terms of the house in terms of what it's got when you come from those other rooms this is just a heart this is just the heartbeat of the house as well you've got a beautiful formal dining room that we just looked at you've obviously got that sitting room as well but when you come into here i just see you'd spend so much time in here but also enjoying the outside as well coming in and out and in and out and enjoying the gardens and everything that it's got to give because what you've also got you've got beautiful flowers here you've also just got round the corner as well a lovely seating area that's there as well lovely beautiful seating area it's a little bit of an outside kitchen as well you can put a barbecue space in there you can really enjoy the outside when I look out the window I cannot believe we're in a town and that's the beauty of France you end up in some gorgeous towns 
houses with plenty of space and plenty of land. You'd have no idea you're in a town, but we are, we're in a town, we've got lovely amenities here. Everything you want is in this beautiful town. 200 meters down the road is the beautiful River Garton. If you are a regular viewer when we're doing our Houses in Focus, you know I love a landing. I haven't quite been on a landing like this so far. This landing is stunning. You will have seen coming up that stairs, come up lovely stone stairs that then turn into lovely oak stairs as we come up to the final piece where I'm stood here. The floorboards are wonderful. Even coming up the stone as well, you can just see where it's been worn away. What kind of stories could that be giving us? It is so light and airy. This is such a big, imposing, beautiful historic house. But you wouldn't think that it's old. It's so quiet, it's so warm, and it's just beautiful. If this was going to be your forever home, it is stunning. If this was going to be your second home, what a beautiful place to come to. And you could even look at this from a business potential as well. We'll look at that a little bit further when we go outside. But now we're up on this first floor. We've got four rooms to show you up here. We've got a lovely little small room just off the side of me here. A little purple room at the moment, but of course you put your own stamp on it. Go into there, you've got views out to the gardens, and a little sink. Another room here, which is the guest room. Beautiful guest room, lots and lots of storage, high ceilings again, lovely ensuite as you go in there. And that ensuite just gives you a few little extras. It's not just got a shower and a toilet and a sink, it's got a lovely bath as well. The bath's got a little window where you can look out onto the gardens as well. What a lovely way to relax at the end of the day if you're a guest in this beautiful house. Come to the front of the house, you've got two lovely rooms there as well, again with the light streaming in through big windows. The master bedroom is beautiful. It's so lovely in terms of the floor in there. It's got its own ensuite. It's got, but it's got the ensuite there. It's got its separate toilet, and then it's also got a lovely shower and a sink as well. So they are separated, and again with lights coming in, a huge amount of storage. Another room to the side as well at the front there. It's got the lovely tomettes and the lovely tiles again that say so much history. I just love the way this house keeps on giving. Yes, it's over 500,000 euros, but it is beautiful. And the value you get with this as we continue to look around this stunning house, there is so much that it gives. There is a door there just off the, off the corridor here, off the landing, goes upstairs. And upstairs you've got the attic space. It's got four more sort of rooms up there. It hasn't been touched. The roof up there is wonderful. You can see that that's recently been done. But when you go up there as well, you've got potential if you wanted to, if you wanted to. So you can look at this. If you want this as your dream house, it will deliver for you on that. But it's also got some opportunities as well. And finally on this landing, you've got a beautiful bathroom at the end of this wonderful landing at the front. The light at the moment I can see is streaming through bath in there, toilet in there and sink in there as well. So that's a lovely big bathroom should you need another bathroom in this wonderful house. Spoke about different opportunities, so let's go outside and have a look at what's there and let's start to now a little poke around some of the outbuildings. Well, we are downstairs, a little bit of noise, and that's because this pool pump behind, this pool pump is miles from anywhere else in the house, so don't be put off by that. I just wanted to show you it, it's massive. So again, in terms of the pool, you just know the pool's gonna be really well heated, really well looked after. Everything here is fantastic. So we're actually in some of the outbuildings, but this actually is to the side of the house. So when we look at the front of the house, there are three big doors to the side. That's where we are now. One of them, ideal for getting a car in, really good garage space. Another one, storage in terms of that, and then this one as well. So they are great spaces for storage. Again, they've been finished really well down here, really, really well. So when we come out of that utility room, we come into this space. So we come in off the kitchen utility into that. So I say you don't hear this noise at all. Above me here is a lovely little studio area, which actually is like a home gym at the moment. And it's lovely, finished really, really well, very nice and easy to get to. Again, it's away from the house. Next one on, you come on, you've got more storage, but you've then got like a double mezzanine. You just go up a double mezzanine area, which you could do a massive amount with as well. I don't think people would want to buy this house as a business. I think this would just be a lovely luxury house to have your house in France. But if you did want to look at it from a business perspective, 
then it has lots of opportunities and potential to be able to add to this, particularly in this area. There's already a studio in here. You could also maybe put something that's arts and crafts in here. You could even turn this into jeets in this side as well, or even chambre d'oeuvre, but probably jeets because it's self-contained. So again, you could do something with that. If we go across the gardens now, we're going to look at another potential for you to do something. And then there's a third bit of potential that I'm going to give you right at the end. We're now outside and we're just across that lovely garden. You may well have seen in some of the previous shots, this lovely building behind me. And who doesn't love a little door like that? This lovely door here with a wisteria going over it. Again, it's so French, it's so beautiful, it's so peaceful, it's so quiet, I love it. But when we look at this building here, yes, behind me, you go through that lovely door, it's storage. At the moment, it's got wood in it, it's got tools in it. That's what it is. There's another door next to it. You go into there again, that's storage. It's got a mower in it, but it's huge. And then you go further on, there is a garage. Now the garage, beautiful, double garage doors opening up. It's big, it's airy, it's really huge. Has its own separate entrance coming off the road. You're coming through a lovely entrance through the driveway into here. So you can get in and out really nice and easy. Now in terms of this beautiful building, and I've looked upstairs as well, there's the, a mezzanine up in here that goes the whole length of this building. If you wanted to, this could have, again, business opportunity. You could turn this into, again, subject to planning, but you could turn it into, into sheets if you wanted. You could turn it into one big sheet. You'd have to sink some money into it, but you could if you wanted to have some return and some revenue coming in. You could do a lot with this if you wanted to really could it could also then have its own separate area for some garden as well that would come off the side here going up the strip that goes up there so you could have that in terms of that so it's got lots but again it's just more storage but it's actually really pretty the wisteria climbing over there it's just it at the moment it looks lovely it's opposite the house and then we come into these beautiful gardens let's have a little look around the gardens the gardens here are beautiful just got to the side of me, that lovely swimming pool. And again, you can walk out to the house. Out in the house, we said, we've got this beautiful flowers, really mature bed of lovely flowers that come around there. You've got really mature trees as well. And then behind me, you've got lots and lots of fruit trees. But what you can see in this garden, it's light, it's shady, you've got a choice. And it's got lots of different areas to it. And that's what's really attractive to me. We're still in a town. We are in a town. We are literally 200 metres from a river. We're probably two or 300 metres away from main shops and then going into the main part of the town. This is just lovely and it's so peaceful. It's so quiet in terms of that. So you've got lots of space in the garden. You've got lots of space to go. There's little nooky, nooks and crannies that you can go into as well. So there's little nooks and crannies. You can sit there. There's some little tables so you can enjoy sunshine like it is now. So it's just coming up to midday. So midday sun is here coming down. It's beautiful. Again, you can see all the shade behind me, the different variety of different trees, different fruit trees, the extensive gardens as well. And you can see the views back to the house. So the garden itself is lovely. You've pretty much got, apart from the very front of the house where you just come into the house itself, the rest of the gardens around. So the back of the house is gardens galore for you to be able to enjoy both the sun and the shade and the pool that's here. The pool is in sunshine as you would expect. But when I look at this pool, it's gonna get sun from about 10 o'clock. So when we were here earlier, starting to do the filming, it was 10 o'clock. That's gonna go through till the end of the day. So you're gonna have the sun setting. That pool is going to be beautiful, but then you can get into the shade as well. So I just love the gardens. I think it's just beautiful and it really complements what is a wonderful house. Got one more little surprise to give you and then we'll wrap up. So this little surprise behind me is attached to the main house. It's a two bed sheet. Downstairs, kitchen, dining room, sitting room, upstairs, two bedrooms, including one of those being an ensuite and also there's a bathroom up there as well. It's a lovely little thing to have. The wow factor is the house and everything else it's got. But if you wanted a little bit of income and also based and see where this is situated, this is a wonderful place to be situated lovely little two bed sheet up to you what you want to do with it at the moment it's got its own little bit of garden that's here it's also got its own seating area just up in the top there that's very shaded it's also got its own entrance either from the front of the house or the back so you can drive in through the gates at the back park here and then you have access to this house as well if you want to so it does already have that opportunity 
for a little bit of income and a little bit of revenue. So I say this place just keeps on giving. If you don't know, just think of this though, it doesn't have to be a paying sheet. This could be for having friends and family over as well, that they can enjoy this space, they can have their own space, but they can then enjoy the rest of the gardens and the pool, that everything goes with it. So again, this house has got so much going for it. Well, I really hope you've enjoyed this tour of this beautiful house, this beautiful house in the Vienne, situated just 200 metres off the River Gartomp, this beautiful town with all of its amenities. You step in and you look at the house from the front, you go, OK, let's go and have a look. And then when you come in, it just keeps on giving. I love this house for so many reasons. I think this house for the right person just looking for a beautiful home in France, a home that you have your own land, you have gardens, you have peace and quiet, but you're situated in a town with all of its amenities you can walk to. It's a massive tick in the box for me. But also if you were a family, you could live here, you could have your children growing up here. You've got everything that you want to be able to enjoy this house. It doesn't matter if it's summer or winter, this house gives so much. It's warm, it's airy, it's got central heating, it's got everything that you need. You could just move in, put your own furniture in and off you go. If you wanted to look at this from a business opportunity, it's already got a two bed sheet ready to go. It's there, just walk in and get on with it. You could also invest some more money. You could look at the beautiful, probably was a coach house in years gone by. You could convert that coach house if you wanted. Even when we go to the garages at the front, that's got so much potential as well. It just has got everything. You could even run your business from here. You could work from home. You could have a studio. You could have arts and crafts if you wanted to. But equally, if you want to spend half your year here. I mean, look at this, it is beautiful. It's lunchtime, it's quiet, the sun is shining, the pool is behind me. I might even just have a dip when we finish because it's so inviting. This house for the right person is stunning. Really recommend you take a look at the particulars, get in contact with the agents. I think this is definitely worth looking for. And around that 500,000 mark, I tell you what, you'd be hard pushed to get many other houses that look as beautiful as this in this particular part of France. I think it's lovely. If you've enjoyed today's programme, please don't forget to subscribe. So please subscribe to the channel A New Life in France. Go to our website, anewlifeinfrance.com, where you can see weekly blogs all the time. We are bringing you more and more content, not just houses. We are now also bringing you French lessons each and every week on the channel. Even more reason to tune in to the channel. Really hope you've enjoyed today's and look forward to seeing you next time.